Today, I wanted to talk about a couple of trees that have kicked the bucket and died. These ash trees in front of us do go dormant in the winter time, but unfortunately, these ash trees just didn't make it. And for proof, if you take a look in the very top of the crown, this is not a dormant ash tree. You can see we have dead leaves and dead branches still hanging in the top of the crown, meaning this tree never went dormant. It ended up dying off. One of the things that greatly contributed to the death of this deciduous ash tree is what this golf course does once a year to prepare for the winter. Now most golf courses do what is called overseeding. You can see we have winter grass all the way around. If this wasn't winter grass, it would be dead all over the place because we would have dead summer grass. Now unfortunately, when golf courses go to do their overseeding, they have to cut off their water supply for quite a long time, usually between two weeks and a month, depending on the situation and depending on if we have any rainfall interrupting the process. Unfortunately, this does a lot of damage to the deciduous trees when they've been cut off from the water for that period of time. Deciduous trees naturally have weaker immune systems than evergreen trees, and this ash tree was affected by a lack of water, and it contributed to the death of this tree. Now if you take a look right down the line, we have several other ash trees that ended up dying off from the exact same cause as this other ash tree. So if you do have ash trees on your property, make sure they're getting plenty of water when they still have green leaves on the tree. When the trees go dormant for the winter time and they shed their leaves, it's okay to stop watering. But if you have living foliage on your tree, make sure it's getting regular water. If you have ash trees, large trees, or multiple trees on your property and you live in the Phoenix metro area, Visit us on the web at valleytreetrimmers.com. Thanks for watching.